The Winter in a Van series continues today. Tasty treats on top of the wood-burning stove in my van. Throwback Chevy coming up next. Greetings, folks. Welcome to Throwback Chevy. Michael Coughlin here, attempting to get over my fever and cold. It's been terrible. Uh, hacking and coughing and uh, cold sweats at night. Uh, but I am staying warm, uh, courtesy of the wood stove. And uh, I'm doing real well and uh, eating well, as you will see. And uh, it's been a, a real pleasure and an adventure as I uh, chug on through the winter. Uh, we have had a cold snap now for the last four days. Uh, minus 20 degrees. Wind chill factors even higher or lower, I guess, depending on which way you look at it. And uh, I'm doing really well. I'm here in my t-shirt and uh, I'm enjoying the ride, as it were. Uh, the holidays were spent uh, quietly. I did visit some friends. But uh, really just recovering from this fever and, and cold. Uh, as you can see, uh, curling's on. Uh, the wood stove's going, and uh, it's a real Canadian sub-zero winter. Uh, congratulations to the uh, Junior A Canadian hockey team who uh, took the gold medal in Buffalo, New York, uh, versus Sweden. Um, and speaking of Sweden, I just did up some Swedish meatballs on the uh, wood stove last night in tribute to the uh, Team Canada victory. So, way to go, boys. Um, man, what else have I been doing? I've been keeping on top of the wood stove situation. Um, it's been uh, really wonderful. But because my pipe is not a double wall insulated pipe, uh, there is a creosote issue. And I have to clean a little more often than you would. Uh, the main reason being these wood stoves don't burn at as a at, at as high a temperature as a regular size wood stove, and that invites a creosote build up a little faster. Uh, but if you stay on top of it and uh, do your due diligence, I have a removable cap on the top of my uh, flue pipe, which is outside the van on the roof. And what I do is. Uh, uh, brush it out and uh, then inside the stove there are two plates that can be removed for those of you with the cubic mini wood stove two screws with a Robertson screwdriver can be taken out and the plates uh, are removed and you can uh, vacuum out the excess creosote that falls down your flue pipe to the uh, into the, the hole on the top of the stove so keep that in mind um, I did see a great video out there, which uh, one of my viewers directed me to, and thank you very much for that. Uh, I had uh, been inspired to get the Cubic Mini wood stove by these uh, same people. And uh, this couple is absolutely fantastic. Uh, they do their installs and uh, show demonstrations and uh, maintenance upkeep, uh, cleaning out the creosote, for example. Uh, and I'm going to direct you to Tiny House Prepper. I can just do all the work right from here. Duck from the crease. And clean inside all the stove absolutely fantastic i'm more interested in the practicality of the unit and uh, what it can do so because he does that better i'm going to do this better i'm going to show you the fun of the uh, of the wood stove and the van and today frozen pizza no kidding so i'm going to show you how you can <laughs> do up a, a, a couple of mini pizzas on the stove what better way to use your wood stove in a van uh, let's check it out. It's 
So I just put the pizzas on two five inch fry pans, which fit very conveniently on top of the uh, wood stove here. And we're just gonna let those go for a while. In the meantime, just kick back and watch some uh, curling. For those of you not from Canada, <laughs> you'll know this is a, a favorite winter pastime. Pan pizza. Never looked so good. And I've got a little Yo-Yo Ma cooking on the portable. Um, another great Canadian, by the way. Uh, as you're kicking back, yeah, enjoy some music. Um, I would uh, also like to mention the fact that I have a solar panel uh, which runs the lights in the van. And uh, other accessories, I can run my uh, radio off of it, obviously, and uh, anything electrical that doesn't draw too much power. It's a 100 watt solar panel. I have a 1000 watt uh, non pure sign uh, inverter. That's the next thing I'd like to get on my checklist is a pure sign um, power inverter, which would be much more clean uh, and convenient for all kinds of reasons. They're a little more expensive, although prices have really can come down dramatically in the last uh, year or two. Uh, but I would like to mention that the solar panel in the winter time, here's one of the pitfalls of, of winter van life, it gets covered with snow. So uh, you, you have to have a snow brush uh, with a good reach that gets up there and clears the snow. And you have to go out sometimes uh, five, six times a day to remove the snow. It can read a little bit of light through the snow, but uh, as the layer of snow gets thicker, obviously uh, you have diminishing returns. So uh, that's one of the pitfalls of a winter van life uh, and I did mention the uh, creosote uh, the, sorry the creosote I think I've been saying it wrong uh, the creosote build up in the flue pipe of the chimney which has to be cleaned uh, regularly but uh, small price to pay and I'm a hardy sort you can see my winter beard uh, which is actually <laughs> excuse me which is actually being grown for an acting gig I have coming up on Tuesday I'm going to Port Colburn to be a uh, fishing ship captain, and uh, I can hardly wait to get rid of this beard, to tell you the truth. So the sooner done, the better, I'll say. Uh, let's check on that pizza. Okay, and you can see that uh, the pan has captured some air beneath the pizzas. They're kind of bubbling up on the top, uh, but usually you get a nice crispy bottom, and... Uh, I'll show you what I do. I have a steel plate below the stove. So I can just slide that in underneath to melt the toppings. Genius. But I can only do one at a time. Uh, here you can see my store of kindling and wood. And uh, I cut that up uh, with my miter saw. There's a whole bunch of kindling there as well. Have this stuff, which is really brittle, and that's fantastic for kindling. That's how you pass your time in the Canadian winter, kids.
Pizza time. Mmm. So that's how you do it. Pan pizza on your wood stove in your Chevy van. I'm going to kick back and uh, enjoy this right now. And that's how you while away the Canadian winter living in a van. Thanks for hanging out with me on Throwback Chevy. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe to the channel. I'll bring you some more interesting and tasty content. I'm looking forward to seeing you the next time. Until then, go Polish bobsled team, go.